Uh, we are, are a squirming pile of sore thumbs. Uh, we're a squirming pile of opposable sore thumbs, all navigating the same cracked screen on the same multi-purpose device, trying to decide which one fits more perfectly into whose pocket. Do you remember? Do you remember when we forgot who we were, like for a second, in the shivered birth of a sheet of goosebumps way back then, at the cusp, having second thoughts at the slippery tip of the iceberg, having a third helping of ambrosia on Olympia with the same silver spoons they used to scoop our hearts out, to stir our fears with till we smiled all our anger out, nervous as a first time, treated like a bunch of wind-up toys, tickled till we couldn't laugh no more. The day they stole that medicine, we stumbled like drunken giants, certain that the earth would collapse if we should fall, but now we know we're just inches tall just blades of grass. Don't step on us. Don't water us either. We are in an orchard planted at the base of an apple tree in the shade of its ripest fruit. Do you remember that day that we caught that slither of sunlight poking through? Who picked the apple that allowed it to? Left it lying in us, bitten into. See, another apple grew in its place so quickly that we wondered if it hadn't fallen all on its own. We still drank up as much sunlight as we could swallow that day. We're greener than we'd ever been. The darkness is not like we remembered it being. Our eyes, they must have adjusted. They must have evolved. Shh. They don't like that word much here. Evolve. It keeps changing. It makes it hard to tell what the difference is, but there are no differences. Just a pile of sore thumbs all navigating the same cracked screen, and you can scrape all the spice off the top of the culture, but it's still, but you're still going to taste something foreign in the aftertaste, enough to ruin your appetite. Do you remember that place? There were no units of measurement there. Father Time was wandering in such a stupor that he stumbled into the last remaining grandfather clock, sent it thumping down a flight of stairs, and I don't know who put it there, but I know the mechanic who built it is the same one who will fix it again. She is good at making up for lost time. Me, I'm good at wasting it, trying to relocate a lost mind. Check the last place that you saw. Look inside the kitchen cupboard next to the sack of granulated sugar. Sweet woman, you were a mockingbird in peacock feathers. Do you remember when we forgot what we were like for a second? In the, in the, in the something. Do you remember when we forgot what we were? Like for a second, in the faintness of a daytime moon, under the spell of a dark blue sky. When I looked up at that hole in the ozone layer and an eye was peeking through it, when we disposed of our theories and petitioned for a single fact. Do you remember, my love? You were making so much sense that there were dollar signs spilling from your mouth that night, but no one paid any attention. But if you position yourself just right in the correct light underneath a microscope, then I can just barely make out the outline of your petri dish, but I see it faintly like a daytime moon. My sore thumb positioned over it, it can't understand why I can't touch and drag it across the sky. We are so conditioned to touch screens and wash hands, soapy emphasis on our sore thumbs, clean all the opinions stuck underneath our fingernails. There are no triggers on these loaded guns. They pop off at the barrel. If you're waiting for the point, well then you missed it. Or it was so sharp that it went right through you. Or it was never there to begin with it. If anybody asked, I was never here to begin with. I was out there. I was searching for you and I found you hiding behind a Facebook wall, nibbling at a bitten apple. I saw the glimmer of the shackles already strapped onto your thumbs. And what have we become? No, really, what will we become? Do you remember when we forgot why we were, like, like for a second? in the refreshing discomfort of a cold sweat at the absolute limits of our intellect. We were bubble gum, all chewed up, but not to be swallowed. They're gonna spit us out onto the pavement the moment we run out of flavor. And we'll sit there for a little bit and then get stuck to the bottom of someone else's soul, like we always do. Thank you. Mm. Wow.